I can talk and draw at the same time. Wow. It's not that hard. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I've drawn this, though. Like, I don't think it's going to come out that well. I guess I just... It was less like I didn't want... It, was, it wasn't really like I just didn't want to show my face. It was just like I was kind of looking for like an image that kind of suited... At the time, I guess, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Which was like kind of darker, Italo kind of style. the style of the music I guess I, I can't get too like epic with it a lot of the times when I'm working on it I'm just thinking of like sort of domestic music or whatever like that I'm not thinking of like a club setting and I'm not thinking of like a, a very like big setting you know I'm thinking of kind of a bit more humble with the album title I guess they I was stalling on it for a while because I just couldn't think of one and then, and then I told uh, like paper bag. I was like, uh, he's like, yeah, actually, we don't have to. We shouldn't call it continent. We should just call it incontinence. Okay. <laughs> and, and paper bag was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. And I was like, no, we shouldn't call it that. <laughs> <laughs> like I've seen some early reviews of the album where like, where they're like, oh, it's it, like it sounds good, but like it it it's all sounds like something we've heard before or whatever like that. But mm -hmm. and like my reaction to that is just like. But yeah, like, it, it does sound like something you've heard before, it was kind of like the whole point of it. I feel like instead of like, instead of trying and failing to like, make something really cutting edge and, and new and, I don't know, that, and it, it can sometimes come off as just kind of like, trying too hard, you know, like when you're doing that. So like, I might as, I, I feel more comfortable just, taking what I what I know and love and trying to expand upon it. What do I have? I have uh, Tango in the Night, my Fleetwood Mac. Okay. So that's an obvious one, I guess. I had it on me and uh, I did a cover of Big Love on the album. This is a Black Sheep single. Okay. And uh, there's one song on this. Uh, it's a remix by David Morales and I play it almost every time that I DJ. And oh, it right. always really gets a good reaction. Okay. But no one ever asked me what it is, which I kind of like because because I feel like I'll be like one of the few people playing it. Like this Arthur Russell compilation. Mm -hmm. uh, I just really like his style. Like I wish that I could do kind of a more improvised style like that he has. Like it feels like it's kind of been put together like five minutes before it was made, and it's just very lucid and and like easygoing. Uh, what else? I have Purple Rain by Prince. Purple Rain, the song, I think might be my favorite song. And I'm a big fan of um, I Would Die For You and Take Me With You. Okay. They're also excellent. Uh, it might be one of my favorite albums of this decade. So, really? yeah, I really enjoy this album a lot. There's not a lot of outside pressure, like as far as like when it comes down to actually like working on the music because I just kind of come home and work on it on my own time. And it's yeah. funny in Montreal because I don't get a lot of like, uh, like attention for, for the music and stuff, which doesn't yeah. bother me at all. Like it's never really an issue like of like, I have to discuss it 24 seven or whatever, you know. And with the blogs, because like it's a, it can be like a good and bad thing. Cause like on the one hand, like you have this kind of like, pe just like people everywhere, like, like who can just post up and talk about anything that they want like at any time and it kind of helps to further it like on sort of like a like I don't know I guess grassroots if that's the word yeah the kind of just like on like a like it's there's no like establishment involved or anything like that for the most part but then at the same time like they're they're free to say whatever they like so they might kind of misrepresent it occasionally like yeah and you have no control over that I would say it's kind of like dance influenced, like uh, uh, electronic music, I guess, but with sort of atmospheric elements. 